Views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of BronxNet or the program underwriters. Welcome to Open 2.0. I'm your host, Alyssa Colon, and we've got a great show for you today. Today's segment focuses on the concrete jungle. To help us unpack this topic is floor designer and Bronx native Christian Monterio. He is a floor designer and a plant lover, inspired by the Bronx and his love of nature. We'll discuss his plans for the concrete jungle and his upcoming project. Welcome to the show. Hi, what's going on? Hi. So I would like to ask you, um, where did you grow up? I grew up in the Bronx of uh, my haven right on Cypress Avenue. Mm -hmm. um, how, um, has the Bronx like, and your heritage like influenced your work? Yeah, definitely. Um, I would say the, just how urbanized it is and how the people are mm -hmm. and the vibe is I like to incorporate in my designs. Mm -hmm. It's a big influence, yeah. Uh, what are some hardships you faced growing up in the Bronx? Re I would say the, to be honest, when I was younger, it was really the, the violence, actually. Yeah. Growing up, it was, you know, it was a little, a little bit difficult because, you know, you have to be aware of your surroundings, mm -hmm. but I'm happy now that it's changing. All right. Um, so I'd like to ask you, how did you become a floral designer? Well, it all started with um, my grandmother. She was very, of, she was very involved in plants. She was a plant lady of the building. And she had her own special bond with her grandchildren, and just mine happened to be with plants. So she would teach me how to like water them and how to take care of them. And then when I got older, I started growing my own food and my own flowers until I picked up a few flowers that I've grown and I made a bouquet out of it. And it just made me feel really good. So oh. I just I just kept going with that. Oh, that's really nice. Um, how did the uh, Bronx influence your passion and work? Um. Just how there's, there's a certain vibe with the Bronx. It's very, it's very, I want to say fast, but there's a certain like swag to the Bronx, a certain mm -hmm. style, and that was like a really big push. I just like to like be that a little bit. Um, what is your favorite part of nature in the Bronx? Part of nature is. To be honest, the botanical gardens is like a huge yeah. thing for me because it's the biggest one in the city. And the Bronx is actually the most greenest borough of the city. It has the most greenery in it. So that's mm -hmm. like my favorite thing about it. Uh, what are some parts of nature in the Bronx that you feel need attention and help? Um, I want to say all, but we, we only can focus on so much. But I would say my haven is a start because mm -hmm. it's not that much greenery in that section. I want to say Fordham Road. I want to say that part would need more focus, but mainly the whole thing. Um, I'd like to ask you now about your Concrete Jungle project. Um, what is the Concrete Jungle project? Concrete Jungle is an initiative of, well, I'm hoping I can get a team, because right now it's just me and my manager. Mm -hmm. But um, the project is to build community gardens that supports like the homeless, supports um, people in housing, and schools that lack, you know, good quality food. Mm. Um, what did you create? Um, why did you create the Concrete Jungle Project? Excuse me. Because I've noticed the, how the food system works in the Bronx. Um, we have a lack of, like, food quality in the Bronx. I have to leave the Bronx in order to get good food, and it's kind of it's kind of a crazy thing is that we the Bronx is responsible for bringing in most of the food for the city, but we get the worst quality of it and I'm trying to change that because mm -hmm. I feel like everybody should have good quality food. Mm -hmm. um, 
what are like what are the missions and the goals of the Concrete Jungle Project? Mission, well, one of my main missions is to get the garden a garden built, and after that would be multiple gardens. And each garden would serve a different purpose. Like one would be to feed the homeless, other would be to feed housing your people in housing, and also bring the youth in to like you know learn more about healthy eating and about sustainability. Sustainability. Um, how can we get involved with the Concrete Jungle Project? Um, I, just, I have an Instagram called the Concrete Jungle BX, mm -hmm. and I, would, I am looking for any you know, volunteers, interns to become a part of the project to make it you know, something big. Um, and I'm curious, like, is there like, any part of the world that you, like, you would like, love like, with the nature and the flowers like, that you like to go to or you like, love to visit? Um, like in the Bronx? Um, outside the Bronx, like anywhere. Outside the Bronx. Yeah. Um, I do want to go to different countries and go to each um, botanical garden they have because mm -hmm. they're all like there's many thousands, maybe millions of different species, and I like to you know see all of them. And would you like to like expand your project like all over, like besides like in New York? Um, my main focus is the Bronx because we need it the most. Yeah. But I would like to you know branch out to other boroughs and have programs in schools because mm -hmm. I feel like. Everybody should learn how to grow their own food. Okay. All right. Um, thank you. Um, we'll be right back with more Open 2.0 after this break. We built a media network for you. Bronxnet TV. Come learn in your new state-of-the-art studios at Lehman College. At Mercy College. And coming soon to the South Bronx in the hub. Inspire with your stories, culture, history. Your Bronx on Bronxnet. Engage with us. Connect with us at your channels and at Bronxnet.tv. Learn, engage, inspire. Bronxnet TV. From the Bronx to the world. <laughs> Bronxnet. <laughs>
Welcome back to Open 2.0. I'm your host, Alyssa Cologne, and we're continuing with our guest, Christian Monterio. Hi. What's up? Um, so, what does your work look like? My work, um, when it comes to my designs, I like to mix in a little street with classical, because mm -hmm. I am from, you know, the Bronx, and we are a concrete, we are a concrete jungle. But um, yeah, like I like street mixed with classical style in it. Um, do you have like any events coming? Yeah, yeah. I have plans for um, spring and summer. I did have an event last summer, and it was very you know successful. It, you know, got noticed. But I want to do a bigger, you know, brighter, more event with more people involved, more vendors, and mm -hmm. more a lot of a lot of art, of course. Um, and I also like hear that you want to actually go to other schools and like tell the youth more about like. You know why is it so important to like, to like what you're doing? Well, yeah, because yeah. um, growing up in the Bronx, especially going to school here, the food was just it wasn't great, and I want there to be programs. You know, kids can come volunteer into you know my programs in the school. I want schools to have their own garden on top of the rooftop, or at least somewhere inside the school where they can learn to grow it there and then they can bring it to the table in the cafeteria and eat what they've grown. Mm -hmm. So that's one of my like big goals, big projects. Um, in case, do you, uh, actually, um, if people want to get involved with Country Jungle Project, what should they do? Oh, so definitely um, hit me up on any social media, you know, Country mm -hmm. Jungle BX or Six Line Florals and I'll answer any questions. Um, and if people want to learn more about you, like, is do you, is there any anywhere else that they can find you? Just Instagram. Right now, at the moment, just that. But okay. I'll definitely make a website coming soon. Um, are there are there any accounts or influence influencers that we should look into? Yeah. Um, one of my favorite influencers is Dandy. Dandy in the Bronx. He's a, a kind of like a stylist. Like, you know, he wears suits, but he's also really focused on mental health and men. Mm -hmm. So. Danny in the Bronx would probably be a one for me to look up. Um, do you have any resume building tips for Bronx youth? Yeah, really to focus on your skills and build off of that. Mm -hmm. um, and do you have any tips and advice for Bronx youth who want to get involved with Floral? Yeah, just um, really just be yourself and I would say go to community gardens because they're always looking for volunteers mm -hmm. or any, you know, just botany programs and stuff like that. Um, so I hear that you want to like continue with this, like, like ongoing for like, a, like the rest of your life? Like yes, this is something I want to do, you know, until I'm no longer here. Like mm -hmm. I want to do, I want more people, I want more men to be more comfortable you know, wearing flowers and yeah. I want the youth to you know to know how to grow their own food because that is in our roots like yeah as human beings our roots is you know we grow food for, since the beginning of time yeah so I would like that um do you have like uh any other projects I might be working on um right now little like little things like I'm collaborating with a lot of Bronx artists I'm mm -hmm. um, working like incorporating flowers into whatever they're doing so like if I'm working with uh, a fashion designer, I'm going to incorporate this, like, flower designs into what they're making. Or when it comes to like video shoots, I'm going to do stage setups. and so Those are the little things I'm going to be throwing out there for the next season. And is there anything else that you might want to say to the youth, like a message? Um, be you. Like, don't try to be anything else that's not you. Focus on, you know, of course, education. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Um, unfortunately, that's all the time that we have for today's show. We'd like to thank our guest, Trish Christian, for joining us and for you tuning in. Hope you enjoy our show and catch us back on the next Open 2.0. Thank you so much. Of course. Anytime. <laughs>